So my day is not going how it was supposed to go. Plenty of trip to Scotland. They like hard got stolen. <laughs> what? All right, so. <laughs> if you if you see my car anywhere, please, please, please call the police. Because <laughs> I need it back. <laughs> So my day is not going how it was supposed to go today. I think when things happen that you don't expect to happen, whether good or bad, I guess your day doesn't go how you expected it to go. Because <laughs> if it was just a normal day, that would be what you would expect. And that's what I expected for today. Today's Thursday, May 2nd, easy day. As a matter of fact, I was gonna use today to sort of relax, not really do much work, just sort of regroup and get ready to go fly again until this morning when we got a phone call from Ryan's guidance counselor saying that he, today is what, Thursday? He has about four weeks of work to do that's due by Monday or he can't graduate. So all of this kind of piled up and happened and you know, I'm not upset with him. By any means, it's just, this is what we need to do. So, right, so we talked with her, we got all the information of what needs to be done, projects, this, that, and the other, and put it into a little schedule, and he's working on that. So we are all hands on deck on that, helping him in terms of like, okay, what do you need? Okay, let's do this, motivating, giving him snacks, like all that stuff. On top of that, he has a senior dinner tonight, and then they have a mandatory event tomorrow night. So I'm not sure how that's all gonna play out. So that was fine. Thought we had that under control and thought that was gonna be the worst of the news that we heard today. And then Katie calls crying. Katie, what's the matter? Mom, my car is not where I parked it. I think somebody stole my car. What? Yeah, I think somebody stole my car. Kate, maybe it got towed. She's very good at getting parking tickets. So maybe, and we, we pay them, I don't pay them. She pays them, but I help her on the computer pay them. So I thought, well, maybe there's one or two that we missed or something and they towed it. So, all right, honey, call the police. Well, how would they know? How would they know? Well, shouldn't I check the tow first? I said, well, call the police. They'll know they can check the tow. So she calls the police and she calls me back. She says they checked, triple checked, and there, it wasn't towed. It was stolen. So they dispatched an officer to come over to talk to her and get all the information. And I just got off the phone with the insurance company. So the crazy part about it is, well, look, all of it's crazy. All of it's crazy. They stole her amazing Jeep that she bought for herself for her birthday. And I will show you a little bit of video here. I'll put it in of her getting her Jeep. It's like her dream car. <laughs> Do you? Oh, good. It's like perfect. No, no. but I'm so excited. <laughs> this is better than a I'm so excited. Tell me your business. Uh huh. They're big tires. I need to take a picture of it. So I'm excited. You, you have that. It. Thank you so much. You said I'm it a so few excited. times. And see, look. See, here's the thing. The fact that it's old, but it looks new. Yeah. And like, like it's yeah. just like. Yeah. And it's be oh. So for the summer, she wants to go back to Maryland and she's going to spend the summer in Maryland and um, she wanted to take her car with her and it's a gas guzzler. So to drive, you know, a thousand miles or whatever it is to Maryland, she's like, well, I'll just take the auto train. So that's like the train, you can get on the train in Florida, you can take it all the way to Virginia and you get on the train and then you can also pay for your car to be on the train. So she's gonna auto train that up. She's been wanting to do that for a long time and she wanted to take her car with her. So I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. So she bought her own ticket. Cause I said, hey, if you come back to Florida, we'll pay your gas to come back here. You live with us down here, but she wants to go there. So she's doing her own ticket and all of that. So now that her car is stolen, She's paid like over $600 for her and her car to go on the auto train and it's non-refundable because on the auto train, I think it's like 120 days, you have to cancel it um, to get any money back. So she's in a bad way. I feel terrible for her. Um, she's really sad. So in the scheme of life events, 
it's not the worst that could happen, but it's just one of those days. So this is the deal. When things like this happen, you really can't get upset. You let it roll off your shoulders. You buckle down. You do what needs to be done. So we call the insurance. We filed the claim. Okay. Okay. And then you move on, right? Maybe you get the car back. Maybe you don't. Maybe you get your insurance, a check from the insurance company. You go buy another car. Call it a day. I know she loves that car. I, I get it. And I know you feel violated when something of yours has been taken. But... Maybe someone else needed it more than she did. I don't know. Maybe someone took it for a joyride. ride. I don't know. Maybe someone I, I just did it on a dare. I have no idea, but that's stuff that's out of our control. We can't worry about that. What we can do is worry about ourselves and what we need to do to move forward, right? Not worth getting revenge, not worth all that stuff. I mean, yes, if someone gets found that they stole the car, yeah, we'll press charges, of course, but... Um, because that's not the right thing to do, right? For them to steal a car. But like with Ryan stuff, like, okay, it's not what we thought, not what we had expected today, but you know what you do? You go, okay, you assess, how can I take care of this? And you make yourself a schedule and you sit down and have at it. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> because it's just going to make me feel better after I've tried to help my kids as much as I can, I'm going to make banana bread because I have some bananas that are old. And yesterday I was, actually not yesterday, two days ago on the plane, I was craving banana bread. So I'm gonna make banana bread with Grandma Donnelly's banana bread recipe. And I normally don't do this. These are my favorite potato chips, but I normally don't just open a bag of potato chips on a random Wednesday, it's more of a Saturday food for me. I opened up the Utz crab chips and I'm having <laughs> my way with the, with the crab chips. Anyway. So comment down below, you guys, have you had those days and you're just like, oh my gosh, it's one thing after another. I need some potato chips. That's today. Stay tuned to find out how everything goes. All right, you guys checking in again this afternoon. Things are rolling along. I did not make the banana bread yet. I had to wait for the butter to not thaw, soften, soften, yeah. Mike, how's your day going? Delightfully, Jill, it's another day I wish we saw. Really? Yes. Interesting, why don't you come over here and talk about it? Because I, I was telling everybody today about how today is not going necessarily how we expected it was going to go, or how we planned it to go. How about you, Ryan, how are you doing? Hi, everyone, I'm just fine. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Well, well, there's Ryan, hold on. There's Ryan over there. Oh, sorry, hold on a second. There's Ryan. Yeah. YouTube? Yeah. Are you gonna post this on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> is YouTube gonna see this? Because all of YouTube is gonna see it. Well, whoever decides to watch. Guys, I'm making a peanut butter and jelly. Nice. How's your work going? Quite up. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Planning a trip to Scotland. Oh, Mike, we'll come right back to you. You stay right there. Sorry. I know I asked you a question and then Ryan just goes, No, 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 no. Stay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Why are you me, <laughs> I don't hate you, babe. I love you so much. Okay, Ryan, tell us what you got going on. Planning a trip to Scotland for a math project. Okay. Couldn't tell you how those two coincide, but they do. Um, and I just realized that I hadn't eaten when I got home. Oh, um, right. No, you're like, no wonder my belly's hungry. Right, but I also have the senior dinner at seven o'clock. I'm just eating a little sandwich right now. And then, so you know, I'm still hungry for dinner. Anywho. So you get dressed up for the senior dinner? That's what I'm going to do. All right. So what are you going to try to get done before you go to the senior dinner? Well, I spilled ice cream on my pants about two days ago, <laughs> and they're the only black pants I have, and I have to wear the black pants because it's black and white themed. So I'm drying those pants right now, or the dryer is drying them, and then I have to finish this uh, Scotland trip plan. Fantastic. All right. We have a, a few fans in Scotland, Dave. I think you'd be excited to know that Ryan's planning a trip, a fictional trip to Scotland. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Maybe it's you to, plan it. It's to play St. Andrews, the first Oh, place. perfect. Yep. All right. Maybe you plan it. Maybe we'll bring it to fruition if, mm -hmm. you know, you graduate from high school and all. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Top of the morning. Is that is that Scottish? I don't even know. All right. So... <laughs> you guys it has been a day i did some gardening now i don't mind telling you in in lieu of making banana bread while i was waiting for the butter to thaw now you're leaving you're really gonna leave 
Oh, okay. Anyway, so I did some gardening. I planted a plant on the lanai. Let me show you. This is new over here. Very happy with him. I used to have an aloe plant in there, but he grew out of that. So I moved him into this bigger one. His little leaves are telling me I need a bigger spot. So I did that. So it makes it a little bit more cozy here. I really, really, really want to change those cushions out. Mike thinks I should paint them with fabric paint. So I'm going to give that a try first. If it doesn't work, then we'll switch the cushions out and um yeah we have some work to do out here to make it more homey and cozy but we're on it all right okay, so I'm gonna go to the senior dinner it actually starts 30 minutes earlier than i thought it did and um <laughs> so you're late so i threw on a, the white photo that i have nice what? okay what? excellent all right hey how'd you do on your homework good i didn't finish the final but i'm gonna show you back and close okay how long are you, how long is your dinner Okay, we'll see you when you get back. Okay. I love you. Drive carefully. Do not speed. We'll do. All right. Okay, babe. All right, so Mike and I have um, decided to sit out front and grill some steaks, and here comes Ryan. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi. That was a quick, uh, a quick senior dinner. Oh, Mike. Mike bought these the other day. Where'd you get those, Michael John? Uh, that was. Oh, yeah, it's a, like a local, oh my gosh, a local Amish store. What are those called? They're um, ribeyes. Ribeyes, two huge, huge ribeyes. It's like a brontosaurus burger. <laughs> Looks good. How was it, Ryan? Was it fun? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah? What did you guys do? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> it was nice. Uh, the junior advisory board put it all on, and everyone knew it was there. We're all dressed up, so it was fun. Great. What'd you eat? <clears throat> Chicken. And uh, they had the Texas Roadhouse rolls oh. and uh, mashed potatoes and salad. It was fantastic. Fabulous. All right. Who'd mm -hmm. you sit with? Uh, Ethan, Trevor, Ahmed, Nick. Edwin. All your people? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. Welcome uh, back. <clears throat> thank you. Can yeah. you turn that down, baby? You look good, though. Yeah. yeah, I know. Did you see them? Oh, God. Yeah. Ryan is up here working very diligently on his trip. Where are you going, Ryan? The UK, Scotland. Okay, and? Um, St. Andrews to play the old course, the first golf course ever created. And then I'm going to King's Barnes. King's Barnes uh, is another fantastic, it's a town and there's also a golf course, um, right on the ocean. And then Royal Troon, uh, <laughs> which has also hosted uh, Open Championships. And so, just golf around the UK, really. Fantastic. That sounds like a delightful trip. Do you think you'll have that uh, project done by the time you go to bed? Yeah. Because you also have a speech. Is this your... No, you have a speech thing you need to do by 11.59. Yeah, that'd be all right. Okay, good luck. I'm going to go down and eat some banana bread. Awesome. Mm. Do you want anything? Want some? <laughs> Michael, did you get into the banana bread? Yeah. Mike! Yes, of course you would. You guys, banana bread is Mike's favorite thing ever. And he loves what he calls, do you call it the heel? No, you call it the end, right? The end piece. I call it the heel. He calls it the end piece. It's his favorite piece. You guys look at that. Grandma Donnelly's banana bread. I'm going to have to have a slice of that. Although I've sworn off bread and carbohydrates, but I kind of might need to, oh, I shouldn't take that. I'll leave that for Mike. <gasps> Okay, you guys, I'm about to call it a night. It was probably pretty fuzzy because it's dark, but anyway, I'm about to call it a night. I'm just gonna come up here and check on Rye Guy, see how he's doing. He has been working his buns off, uh, doing all of his things. Uh-oh. Hey, Ryan, you in the potty? Okay, how's it going? I think you brought his computer with him. All right, I'm gonna say good night. What made you happy today, babe? Excellent. All right, you gonna make it okay by 11.59? Yes. Fantastic, do you need me for anything? No. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. If you need me, call me, okay? No. Okay, I love you. Congratulations, nice work today. All right, you guys, he said what made him happy today was the senior dinner, of course. That's amazing, it's such a great, his high school has so many really cool um, traditions for seniors, which is really very nice. So this is the thing, I'm just gonna end today. Look at, on our board, love one another. It's my favorite saying, or one of my favorite sayings. But um, even though today started out not like we expected it was going to and came, it offered us a little bit of challenges throughout the day, 
You know, our, our favorite, favorite saying is the difference between an ordeal and an adventure is your attitude. So this is the thing. This is like life throws you curveballs all the time. And to be able to just say, okay, right, I can take it. I can take that challenge. I can move forward with it is probably the biggest blessing. So if you guys can, um, I'm sure you already do, but if you're not, um, let me suggest that you take the attitude of, um, of making life an adventure and not an ordeal. You know, just be there for it. Whatever comes your way, just be there for it. You can only control so much, right? And you should only ever worry about the things you can control, not the things you can't control. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, um, me and Lindsay are at Sweet Shop. Um, we woke up at like oh, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. I need to sleep in. It's after finals, so. Yeah, post finals, summer time, sleep in. Um, we went to a concert last night. Oh, yeah. It was really fun. And then we came back to College Town. No, at some point I lost her. <laughs> but yesterday my car got stolen. <laughs> Which like, it was a rough day. It was a rough day. It's okay though. And you know what? Like one these things. Oh, I'm two twenty six. No. Are you no I'm two twenty one. Um so it's been a hard it's been a hard past two weeks for me, honestly. But there's nothing a bagel and cream cheese can't fix. And a bagel melt. And a smoothie. And a bagel melt. And a smoothie. Everyone's graduating today. Yeah. We're not. I was confused why campus was so crowded. I was like, where is everyone walking? She's like, what's everyone doing here? I was like, oh, graduation. Oh, graduating. Yeah, that'll do it. Um. One day, two, two, three. Is it? Um, is it? Anyway, I was, to, oh, I was supposed to take the auto train home. I was going to put my car on the train. One day at 226. It's you. One day at 225. I was supposed to take my car home on the auto train and put all my stuff in my car because I'm spending the whole summer in Maryland, but I actually couldn't do that. I can't do that now because I don't have a car because it's stolen. Like the police what? sent out a thing that like, my vehicle was stolen. So now I don't know how I'm getting home. If know. you know where her car is, if you if you see my car anywhere, please, please call the police. Because <laughs> I need it back. I need Bessie back ASAP. Um, so I'm gonna go get my food because they called my name. But love y'all. Thanks for caring.